This screencast will show you how to use D2L's integrated Turnitin feature, um, that specifically the grade marks feature in Turnitin to comment on student papers. So you can see that I'm on the edit folder screen in the Dropbox. I need to ensure that plagiarism detection functionality is enabled and there's a checkbox here that you can usually just click and make sure that that's turned on. When you go to the folder submissions, now this only works after, um, I can only show you after a student has turned in a draft. I see that there's one student who's turned something in. So I'm going to go ahead and click on leave feedback. And this takes me to a screen. You can see that I've already attached a rubric here, but before we even get down to the rubric and that kind of comment that I want to leave for a student, I want to click on the markup icon. Markup icon is a paper with a check on it. The first time that you access this, you have to agree to an end user license agreement. For subsequent times, you shouldn't have to do that. It takes a few minutes, um, sometimes, or a few seconds to load this format. And the first time that you load Turnitin, it'll also show the screen. It has a really great tutorial to show you the quick marks and how they work and the comments feature. You can watch that if you like, but I'll just show you how it works myself. Here in this panel, you can see the students work. Over here, you can see some comments that are pre-populated by the software. There is a several list of comments. Um, you can also search for those comments. You can also upload your own set of comments, and I'll show you how to do that in another screencast. So if I decide that I want to put a comment on a student paper, you can either select part of the student's text and click one of the comments, or you can just drag and drop the comment from this comments palette into the student's paper. The value of doing this is not only does it highlight for the student this um, view here, but it also gives them some really detailed explanation of what it is that you like or don't like in their paper. In their view, they can click down here and see what the general comments for the paper are, and it will also list the comments that are on the paper in this other view. Um, you can put an overall comment here in the software if you like. All you need to do to return to D2L is X out of that tab or that window. Those comments are automatically saved. Then from that point, you can provide the student with some feedback using the rubric tool, transfer the score, and click on Save. It provides the student with some great feedback, and it's a quick and easy way to save you a little bit of time. All right, thanks.